Oh, here it is. So I found a little corner that was uh, binding. And the corner was actually on the steel piece. It was on an inside corner right here where the cutter had shattered just a little bit and left maybe one and a half, one or one and a half hundreds of excess metal. So here it is. And <laughs> actually I think this might be the most accurate fit that I have ever made. It it it's it was so so tight to put in. I was able to put it by hand, but it was really tight. So that's that's really good. And uh, the fit ended up being one and a half hundredths of a millimeter per side. So I'm actually very satisfied with that. And so far everything looks good. I secured the, pre the piece in by four screws, M4 screws. And what I'm gonna do now is some more milling. So I'm gonna mill this lot just like it was originally. And then I'm gonna mill this um, this hole right here. Okay, now ready for the second last operation of this whole project. Well, actually the third last. So, um, before starting the operation, I just wanted to make sure that everything is still lined up as they should be. So, um, I want to indicate the hole that I made on the other side of this, of the insert. And the runout we get is 200 of a millimeter. And I like that. That's well acceptable. Yeah, it's exactly 200 of a millimeter which is less than 1,000 of an inch. So, all set for the final operation, which is pretty scary, again, because I am now milling um, this steel insert when it's attached to the aluminum piece. And it's now only on with these four tiny screws, but the fit is so tight, and the screws are also pretty tight, and I'm taking very light cuts, so I think everything should be fine, but we will soon see. Okay, now I'm just manually mm, facing the insert, because it's about one tenth of a millimeter higher than the rest of the piece. I'm just jogging manually here. So now that we have the steel insert in, we have to mill it out to look like this. And this is exactly the original uh, shape and di dimensions of the original piece. So as a stock I have the, uh, the insert, the parts of the insert that still haven't been milled. So first roughing everything. Roughing out here and then the bore uh, going really slow in two passes, five millimeters each and only half a millimeter step over and very conservative cutting speeds. And this is the second pass, so it's going down in the bore. And finishing, finishing, and finishing. And this is what's gonna happen. And 
that's it. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, the operation is started and so far everything looks good and sounds good. And it's now making a million tiny little extremely sharp needles. It's not fun to clean chips like that. But other than the nasty chips, it looks very good. I think I'm gonna switch on the coolant. To clear chips and uh, keep the workpiece temperature in control. Okay, I think I'm not gonna show you any more of this. I think this whole operation lasts about seven minutes. And now it's going for the round hole. And sounds like it's doing just fine. I'm actually doing this in two steps. I mean depth steps. No, the whole depth is 9 mm and I'm taking 5 mm steps per time. Because I really want this to work, no matter if it takes a little longer. And now the second step over. I'm actually a little bit surprised how easy it's going. I would have expected even at least a little bit of chatter at about right here when it's the weakest. But it's very nice and quiet. Soon it is time for finishing. Now, in other words. And this is going even slower. Actually twice as slow as, as the roughing. Five thousand RPM and five hundred millimeters per minute, which is like uh, twenty thousand. I mean uh, twenty inches per minute. Really slow. Now it's finishing the uh, the kind of pool. Okay, let me show you when it's finished. Okay, program is finished. Let's see what the product looks like. 722. Okay. So now it should be exactly as it was originally. Okay, I must go... Well... There's maybe two hundredths of a millimeter height difference in the bottom. Here it's a little bit more, but uh, I will mill this out manually. Otherwise, everything looks very good. Really satisfied with the finish quality. And now, another test. This part should fit inside the bore. Let's see if it does. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't.
Okay, I think it's it's not quite fitting. It's very close. It's almost going. It's really close. But I think I have to I'll try deburring it first and it's it's almost going. Okay, let me try deburring and see if that's enough. Okay, I did the second finishing pass. And now I'm really, really pleased with this. And check this out. It doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> That's a really, really, really good fit. Okay, and it still turns, which it's supposed to do. It's really hard to get it on and off. Okay, anyways, so the final thing to do is I'm gonna um, face this by manually jogging again and then this piece is done maybe a little bit finishing on the other side as well okay and here we have the finished product and I must say I'm pretty proud of this it came out really nice there's not much room for improvement. And there's a little burr. Still have to get rid of that. It kind of rolled over. Really happy with this. Very flush and smooth everywhere. And the other side looks like this. There's still something to do on this side. Uh, it's about maybe 500 of a millimeter or 2000 of an inch uh, too high. And my intention was also to surface grind this because it has, I left about one tenth of a millimeter or four thousandths of an inch um, of uh, metal to be removed but I think I might do this on the milling machine but we will see and also I have to find some sort of screws I think it looks pretty good it kind of looks like somebody made it fit there and here you can see that the inside corners which uh, were kind of dragging you can see there's a slight gap in in there um, and what I did to that uh, I changed the, the radius of that corner from five millimeters to five and a half millimeters so it gave me a few hundreds of a millimeter of, of play but if I ever make these inserts again, I'm gonna have to be more careful with the inside edges. So, I don't think I'm gonna show any more of this to you. But if you like, I can show you this work finished. But uh, this is pretty much the idea of, the, of this type of work. And actually this is the type of work that I love doing the most. You really get to use your brain and figure out the setups and, and how to do the job. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And more to come. CNC and manual. Thanks for watching and see you again. Bye.